Un día normal y casual estás echando el aceite a tu carro y unas cuantas horas después. Dude, don't tell my water just broke. Dude, I think it did because more is coming out when I left right now. She's like, oh, you're nine centimeters. She's like, no time for a pedoro. She's like, baby's coming. I feel his head. And I was like, you're fucking lying. <laughs> Canal, as you guys read the title today, I have my labor and delivery story time. So, uh, just a little disclaimer: the video is going to be in Spanglish because I les pregunté en mi social media, la mayoría de ustedes dijeron que en Spanglish. So, de igual manera, I'm going to put like a little timeline on the screen in English and Spanish, así para que si algunas cosas no entienden, pues ahí todos van a poder leer y mirar, verdad? Before we begin, look at my shirt. ¿Qué dice, plebes? ¿Qué chingonas somos las mujeres? La mera neta. Porque uno plebes no le sufre menos o más si es natural. No le sufre más o menos si es cesárea. Si es cesárea normal, with a epidural, without epidural. You literally go through so much and it's so painful. And like I said, whether it was a C-section or natural, like literally we're some bad bitches. Because neta, que perras somos las mujeres, la neta. So, tenía que decir ese video. But anyways, um, I did write everything down on my little journal planner here. Es que I talk a lot, la neta. I talk way too much. So, I did try to write it down para que si, pues, no hable un chingo y pues, you know, get to the fucking point, bitch. So, el 13 de marzo, okay? That day, I had my normal checkup with the midwife. Y la tenía en la cita a las 2, a las 2 de la tarde. So, yo fui a mi cita, mi mamá me acompañó. Eh, me checaron la presión, el peso, este, me dijeron que estoy, tenía pensado en hacer mi cesárea porque yo sí tenía ya mi cesárea planeada y ya tenía fecha y hora y todo el pedo, right? So I said yes, I'm still down for the C-section and then that was it, right? So ya yeah, me dijeron, ok, uh, see you on Monday. So, um, so ya de ahí salimos y yo tenía un chingo de hambre y le dije a mi mamá, tenía un chingo de hambre y le dije a mi mamá, ¿iremos al in and out o a dónde vamos? Y yo le dije a mi mamá, pues si quieres vamos al in and out. So we went to in and out and as we were in literally in line, let's touch on my mom. I was like the day before my C-section, voy a venir y me voy a chingar un in and out. So whatever fuimos a in and out, este, nos parqueamos para, para que yo pudiera comer a gusto. Y estábamos ahí comiendo mi mamá y todo el pedo. Y después me prende la luz de mi break fluid. Que le faltaba pinche fluid a las brecas. Entonces, este, gracias a mi tío que ya me había dicho dónde ponerle y cuál echarle. Este, I lifted the hood and, and then I put some of the fluid, right? And um, as I was doing it, I was telling my mom, like, damn, like, look at me, nine months pregnant and fucking, uh, <laughs> este, echándole el kilo a mi carro, right? And then I was, and then my mom was like, a ver, déjate grabo. So then she literally recorded me. I'm gonna put the video right here. She recorded me putting <laughs> the fucking fluid or whatever in the car. Hasta un señor me dijo, oh, do you guys need help? And I was like, no, I got this. I got this. Yo soy una chingona. Yo soy una chingona. So ya de ahí, este, nomás comimos, le puse el, flu el fluid or whatever, y ya nos fuimos a la casa, right? Llegamos aquí, este, yo me senté en la computadora porque tenía que hacer algo, y después, este, yo y mis papás dijeron que iban a tener agua y que si quería que me llevara al Liam. Y dije, no, aquí déjelo. Y lo enlace, no, pues no lo llevamos. Dije, ok, whatever, go ahead. So, ellos ya se llevaron a Liam y yo me quedé aquí con mis sobrinos, los más grandes. Y después de ahí, me llamaron como a las cuatro y media, like a random number called me. Y yo no contesté porque dije, I don't know, it's not going answer. So, then they left me a voicemail y escuché el voicemail y era del hospital diciéndome que me tenía como que, like, pre-registered. So, like, ya como ya fuera el día de la cesárea, pues ya no tuviera que ir nada de papaleo y todo el pedo, right? So, literally, a las 4.55, I called back to pre-register. Okay, keep that in mind. I'm gonna put it right here. And then at 5:20, este, esta sentada en la silla. So I kind of, I leaned back and I felt like I peed. And I was like, what the fuck? So then, se me ocurre agarrar mi celular and I start recording myself on Snapchat to send it to my friends. Dude, I'm kind of tripping out right now. And my stomach feels hella weird. Like it felt hella hard, right? Like it was kind of hurting. And right now I lean back and I feel like I peed myself. Dude, don't tell my water just broke. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, I think it did because more is coming out when I left right now. Oh my god, let me go to the bathroom. No, dude. Because normally I had felt something like that, but it was discharged, but I didn't 
it didn't feel like it felt this time it felt different and then my stomach was also kind of hurting entonces ya fui al baño este y cuando me bajé el pantalón pues sí tenía no solamente los calzones mojados sino también las leggings y les voy a poner aquí una foto me vale para que ustedes vean entonces I was like okay I think my water is rain because como les digo normally like it's not this much you know and then before that in my head I was like I should go and pack my hospital bag and then I was like, no, I still have a week. Pero como que algo en mí me decía, no, wey, ve y haz tu pinche maleta. Porque como que yo ya presentía. So, fast forward, este, fui al cuarto a cambiarme. Y cuando me quité el pantalón, sentí como que me escurrieron así como, como que me escurrió agua. Y eran como, it was like drips of blood. Like water with blood. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm going to put a video right here. Y nomás se miraba como rojito las, la gota que iba cayendo así. Entonces le mandé un video a mi hermana y la wey en Putiza me hizo FaceTime. So ya no pude grabar. Y, pero mi hermana me hizo FaceTime. Dijo, no mames, creo que sí te remató la fuente. Las se llaman así tal, pendeja, porque um, está sangrando. So then, <coughs> so I was like, fuck, I'm pretty sure it is my water, right? So entonces ya me puse otro pantalón, me puse una toalla. Um, I called my baby daddy and he said, dude, I think my water broke. So be ready. So, so I called the hospital to speak to the midwife on call, right? So this was my son, this was a senior, and he said, like, me dice, oh, what's happening, this and that. And I said, and then I said, the senior, okay, como en media hora te vamos a llamar. Le said, si media hora no te llamas, it's just marcas para atrás. I was like, dude, 30 minutes? Like, no mames. Me marco mi hermana para atrás, y le dije, pues me está diciendo que me espere media hora. Y en eso, la seguía, pues empieza a empacar tus cosas, ¿verdad? So I got a, literally, I grab a bag. And I started just throwing like literally random stuff. I ni la neta, tipo ni siquiera me llevé camisas. Con la camisa que entré fue con la misma camisa que salí porque se olvidó echar camisas. But anyways, I just started throwing random ass shit. Lo bueno que la pañera de niños sí la tenía lista ya. It was mostly just my stuff. Y a las 5:50 me llamó la mirwe para atrás. So she only took like 10 15 minutes coming back. And then I just told her like oh everything that was happening. And then she's like okay um go ahead and come just so we can check you. So then um, I called my baby daddy and I was like, yeah, they want me to go in. We left here around like 6.20 p.m. Plebes, ya casi llegamos al hospital. Mis contracciones... Oh, fuck, estoy grabando en fucking Snapchat. Oh, well. Mis contracciones estaban a 7 minutos, después a 6, ahora ya y después se bajaron a cada 4 y ahora son cada 3 minutos. Ay, güey, me está dando uno. Espérense porque I have to track it. Como les estaba diciendo, este, ya tengo las contracciones más frecuentes, pero ahorita que hay al hospital. Ay, qué chingado me dicen, plebes. Oh, my God, no son Dude, I cannot. It's crazy how everything played out. Okay, because first of all, my mom wasn't home. I was alone with my nephew and Liam for friday no saturday and sunday and today's monday and que casualidad que apenas hoy llega mi mamá que hoy tuve una cita me chingue in and out because i i was like dude the day before my c-section i'm gonna come and have in and out as my my last meal right and guess what my last meal was in and out literally and then mi mamá se llevó al liam a la walmart y que casualidad que cuando se van se me reventó el fuente and i didn't get i didn't have a chance to say Bye to Liam, so that makes me kind of sad. But yes, I'll keep you guys updated. Y íbamos en camino, y a mí, no, al, en el momento, no sabía yo si eran contracciones o si no me estaba doliendo la panza porque estaba nerviosa. Pero de igual manera, I was tracking them, you know, on the app. So, we got to the hospital a las 7.10 de la noche. Como ya había hecho yo check-in, no tuve que hacer todo eso. But see what I'm saying, like... But what are the odds that literally almost an hour before my water broke, um, me llaman to pre-register, you know? Llegamos al hospital a las 7 de la noche, me vuelven a preguntar lo mismo, que quieras, quiero yo que se me vea la fuente, que cómo me sentía. Hicieron que me quitara este, mis pantalones y que dejara la toalla que me había puesto en el lavabo para que ellos pudieran mirar if it was my water that had broken or if it was something else, you know? Uh, me acosté. Uh, y me pusieron como monitores en la panza para poder escuchar el heartbeat del baby. Y aquí les voy a poner el video. So ya que este, estaba monitorando al bebé y ya que me dijo that my water had ruptured, 
that she was like, oh, I see that you have a scheduled C-section. And I was like, yes. Entonces cuando me dijo, um, do you just want to go straight to a C-section? Y le dije yo, well, is there any way that it could check if I'm dilated, you know? Porque yo dije, si no ha abierto nada y ya tengo las contracciones, ya estaban siendo más frecuentes y más fuertes. Entonces yo dije, um, me puede checar para ver si ha abierto, porque si no ha abierto, well, they might as well go to a C-section, because I feel like I was, gonna, if I was already in pain, I felt like, I felt like I wasn't going to be able to, like, I wasn't going to be able to handle it. And then not just that, pero a mí me dijeron que mis chances de poder tener, like, a natural birth were very low, you know? So yo dije, mm, why even risk it, you know? I was like, might as well just go to a straight C-section. That's why I had scheduled it. Pero anyways, le dije, este, hay manera que me pueda checar. Dijo, la única manera que te pueda checar es si tú me dices que si sí quieres intentarlo uh, natural. I was like, well, yeah, you know, I was like, I'll try, whatever. Entonces, uh, trajo como una máquina para hacer un ultrasonido para ver que el bebé todavía siguiera boca abajo. Y ya vino, me hizo el ultrasonido y el bebé seguía boca abajo, gracias a Dios. Y ya después este, me metió los dedos y me checó, right? So, in my head, I was like, dude, there's no way that I'm dilated. Uh, but I was. I was one and a half centimeters dilated, right? Entonces me dijo ella, hay dos opciones. Me hace, te puedes quedar aquí y puedes, este, you know, continue your labor here. Um, la hace, o te puedes ir a tu casa. La hace, y regresar cuando tú sientas que las contracciones son más frecuentes o que tú sientas que ya no puedes. Entonces le dije yo, oh, le dije, I can leave even in my water pill porque cuando se me levantó la fuente con Liam, este, no me dejaron ya irme y, neta, y ni siquiera me dejaban pararme ni nada, estaba acostada the whole time so I was like, oh, I could leave and then she's like, yeah, and I said, yeah, you could leave because I guess you have to, um, there's certain qualifications, I guess you would call it that, um that you could leave even if your water broke I don't know how to explain it, like, um, she said she said, well, your water your water ruptured She's like, um, your blood pressure is good, um, baby is good, um, you're, so it seems like you're having, um, like, normal labor contractions now. She's like, so you checked all of those points. That's, that's kind of how she told me. So she's like, you're able to go home. So I don't know, just so you guys know, if your water breaks, ask them if you could go home, or if not, pues te van a decir que no puedes irte y que te quedes ahí. Para mí, la neta, yo no quería estar en el hospital porque si con Liam duré más de 30 horas en parto and it took me so long to freaking dilate, I was like, dude, there's no way that um, I'm gonna dilate hello fast, you know? Le dije, no, entonces mejor me voy a mi casa. So ya como a las 9 de la noche, por ahí, me dieron de alta y nada más me dijeron que no me bañara, no sexo. O que estuviera al pendiente de que si cuando fuera al baño que si tuviera este como un olor feo o que si me sentía mareada o que si me daba calentura que me regresara. ¿no? So yo vivo 45 minutos del hospital. Entonces le dije a la señora, ¿cuánto usted cree que me debería de venir? She's like, I recommend when they're like three to four minutes apart. And I was like, okay. So whatever, we leave the hospital like around nine-ish. And as we were like already on our way back, Um, I told them, I'm like, dude, I think I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up coming back. I was like, because the contractions are actually getting stronger now. And then I didn't want to come to my mom's house because Liam was here. And I didn't, I knew that like having Liam around, I wasn't gonna be able to concentrate in the contractions, you know what I'm saying? So we decided to go to his mom's house and we stayed there. We got there like almost at 10. Pues no, pero ya cuando llegué ahí, Neta que ya, I had to stop and I had to waddle and I had to breathe, but dead ass, I like, felt like I was dying already. So then we got there, I was like, fuck, maybe I should have stayed because I don't think I can handle this. But anyways, I was already there. We had just gotten there, so it's not like Leo really, said, oh yeah, vámonos, you know? Y pues anyways, I was like, you know what, we just got here. I have to bear with the pain, you know, for a little bit at least. If not, it was like not even worth the drive, right? So then I was also hella hungry. Y como no me dijeron que no podía comer, este... Le dije a su mamá que se me un plátano. Me lo estaba tratando de comer, pero les digo, ya me estaban dando las contracciones más fuertes. Entonces ahí, I was hella tired, so I was like, oh my god, lay down. So fui, me acosté y me dio una contracción. No, pura madre. Acostada con contracciones, no lo recomiendo. <laughs> if you can get up, if you have a contractions and you could get up, get up, because fuck, hell no. 
laying down is the worst so then i got up i started just walking around you know moving my hips um me me puse like on all fours and i was kind of like kind of like moving my whole body but on me a me la única manera que lo sentía poquito menos era estando este parada y caminando y moviéndome así entonces ya iban a ser casi faltaban como cinco para las once cuando yo ya ya no aguantaba neta porque ya la sentía cada minuto and I was like fuck why are they so fucking strong so then I went out and I was like uh -uh. I was like we need to go right now I was like I cannot handle this no more so then he's like okay so we got in the car and we started heading and dude i swear todavía ni entramos al freeway y yo sin querer o sea mi cuerpo ya estaba pujando and i was like i was, in my, I was like no 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 daisy no 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 daisy and i was like dude I, my body is pushing without me even trying like i was like como les explico como cada banda que estaba así como deja de venir estaba Neta, sí, güey, porque mi cuerpo ya lo estaba pujando sin que, o sea, because I know, like, you're not supposed to push, you know, until you're already, like, 10, 10, 9 centimeters, right? So I was like, dude, in my head, yo todavía estoy diciendo, no, there's no way that I'm already 10 centimeters. Yo en mi cabeza dije, I'm pretty sure I'm barely, like, 4 centimeters, I'm, I'm already fucking dying. And I was like, I can't be pushing, you know, porque... No sé, o sea, yo decía no puedo pujar, no puedo pujar porque todavía no llego al hospital. Entonces, the longest fucking 45 minutes of my life. But the whole time I was literally grabbing into the, you know, the, the handle from the car. Estaba bien agarrada de ahí, agarrada del, like, the glove compartment or whatever you call the thing in the middle. A él los tenía agarrado del pinche abrigo y lo estaba jalando porque neta que yo sentía que ya no podía. And then I just kept saying, oh my God, when I get there, I'm asked for the Pedro. I was like, I can't handle this no more. I was like, there's no way that like, I'm even like, I was like, there's no way that I've even dilated as much. Yo iba pensando like, there's no way that I've dilated a lot already, you know? Porque como les digo, uh, con Liam yo debería mucho para abrir. And I was like, dude, like. I was like, damn, my pain tolerance is weak as fuck because I'm already, I already feel like I'm dying and I'm pretty sure I've only like four, five centimeters. Porque con Liam, I literally asked for the epidural at three to four centimeters because I couldn't handle the pain anymore. Oh, man. Me cae bien intensa. So, ya cuando faltaban como 20 minutes para llegar, I called the hospital to know I was on my way, right? And the guy was like, he's going to call you back in 10 to 15 minutes. He's like, call us back. And I was like, okay. So, then, no me llamaron, so I called again. And by the time I was calling, I was literally like, my contractions were literally so constant that I couldn't even um, speak. That ass, I couldn't. I literally had to hand him the phone and he had to tell him all my information porque yo, yo ya no podía hablar, la verdad. Entonces, este, en vez de que se parqueara, le dije, dude, just leave me in front of the hospital and then just take me inside and then just go in front and park as well. I was like, because there's no fucking way that I'm going to walk all the way from over there to the entrance. So ya, este, nunca me llamaron para atrás del hospital, de hecho, me llamaron, bueno, esta les platico, este, llegamos al hospital, se parqueó al enfrente, me ayudó a bajarme porque, dude, I, neta que, sin exagerar, sin mamadas, no podía ni, ni caminar cuando me estaba dando la contracción, so, we paused like two times, because I couldn't even walk, we got to the entrance, and then the security was like, oh, you're here for labor, and I was like, Oh, shit. Dude, oh my god. So I stopped telling you the story, me despedí, todo el pedo. And then I go to stop the video. And then it's not even recording. <laughs> but good thing it kind of stopped recording kind of towards the end. But anyways, me quedé donde... Uh, le está diciendo que security as if I was there for labor, right? So ya, este, él me ayudó a meterme um, con las enfermeras. And as I was walking in, um, the nurse that had discharged me, She's like, oh, yes, is it I guess so? She's like, you ready? And I was like, I'm ready for the epidural. I was like, yeah, I was like, I can't handle it anymore. So she's like, okay, she's like, let's go and take a look. And as we were walking down the hallway, um, I felt another contraction, so I stopped. And I felt like I was pushing again, but I was trying to, like, not push. Without, like, I was, come on. I don't know how to explain it. I was just not trying to push, but my body was doing it anyway. But I was trying to, like, stop it because I felt like they were going to tell me something. So then... 
when she saw that I was pushing, she's like, okay, she's like, we gotta walk a little bit faster because we don't want you to have a baby in the hallway, right? So, ya llegamos al cuarto, uh, me dice que me quite toda la ropa, uh, me pregunta que se ocupa ayuda, le digo que no, que estoy bien, y ya cuando me la estoy quitando, me faltaba el pantalón, cuando me llega otra contracción y otra vez empiezo a pujar, and she's like, okay, I'm gonna help you because if not, we're gonna have a baby right here. So, total, me ayuda a cambiarme. Uh, ni siquiera me puse bien la bata, la neta, porque yo, la neta, ya, yo ya no podía, yo no me quería acostar y quería que me chequeara porque ya quería the fucking epidural, right? So, whatever, the doctor comes in, um, she's like, okay, she's like, I'm gonna go ahead and check you, and we'll go from there. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and check you, and we'll go from there. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and check you, and we'll go from there. And I was like, okay, and then, but I was like, still contracting. And then she saw that I was pushing and she's like, okay, she's like, try not to push. And I was like, I'm not doing it. I was like, I'm doing it by itself, I promise. And so whatever, me checo, and she's like, you're nine centimeters. And when she said that, I thought I heard four centimeters. And I was like, oh my God, I knew it, right? And then I asked her, I was like, how much again? She's like, oh, you're nine centimeters. She's like, no time for a pedoro. She's like, baby's coming. I feel his head. And I was like, you're fucking lying and i was like i was like are you sure she's like she's like yes baby's coming so then and this one piece entran chingo de enfermeras una me está poniendo el suero otra me está uh, poniendo la esa para que me chequen la presión uh, the other one's setting up things for the baby um and everything like everything happened if for me it felt like forever but in reality it everything happened hella fast we got to the hospital like around 11 55 p.m and he was born at 12, 17 a.m. So literally like within 20 or 25 minutes, I had him after I got to the hospital. So yeah, everything happened so fucking fast. Um, I, it was crazy, honestly. And I really loved the doctor, dude. She was literally like, diciéndome, okay, cuando sientes presión vas a pujar y vas a sentir ardor. Oh, you're gonna feel this, you're gonna feel that. Push like you're going to the bathroom and like, literally she was literally telling me she was telling me everything i was gonna feel before i felt it if that makes sense so i really really like that um they were all hella supportive so after that um he was so tiny um they put him on my chest they made me push again to take out the placenta and that shit was hella fucking painful as well Uh, quería que fuera al baño que me cambiara porque estaba llena de sangre y luego no mucho me enseñó cómo poner like the pads and like the spray and how to just go to the bathroom without feeling like any burning even though que no me abrí um, I still felt a little like burning sensation I think it's because I was like very sensitive down there um, y ya mientras que yo me cambiaba y todo eso este al niño lo estaban pesando y lo estaban Uh, midiendo y todo el show nos, nos pusieron un tatuaje aquí de su footprint también that was very cute um, ya que me cambié ya que lo empezaron a él y todo el pedo este ya nos hicieron ir al cuarto donde nos íbamos a quedar y el cuarto estaba bien chiquito a comparación a donde cuando me alivié de Liam pero es que era otro hospital pero ya yeah, the room was kind of small but it was very really nice and I love my experience there honestly the food was amazing me dieron pizzas papas fritas um, Hamburguesa, pancakes, waffles, eggs, bacon, hot chocolate, café, coca, like literally, oh my god, that was, that was a, a very good experience there. Plebes, buenos días. Ya amanecimos con desayuno. We have some waffles, I mean, sorry, bagels, pancakes, potatoes, eggs, and bacon. Y luego me trajeron un vasito de fruta. Uh, me trajeron avena, me trajeron agua porque me puedo hacer un hot cocoa and then they also, oh wait, this is the water for the hot cocoa they brought me coffee, pero cuando vino una enfermera estaba hablando con ella y me distrajo y le eché pinche pepper al café plebes so she was nice enough to bring me another coffee and yeah, I feel okay I had a spell okay the lighting here is not the best, but whatever But um, it's only such a meal. Ah, uh, and realize it was meal for like, is it last one? Is it the morning? Is it last six? Yeah, since six. So it's been a meal for a long time. And yeah, so that's why I woke up. I gave him a chest because he had given me a chest when he was born. And at six o'clock he woke up. At seven o'clock he had a pee and a pee. 
Ako to stojí, ako stojí to. A to môžem aj skýt si. Ale... I feel great. Moc porka mi zájde mi panca. Bez keď sme jedli si s šrinkým. A s nomou prvíme jedno medikamento. Ale... Ja som si mi potil a... Easy kill. It looks whiter, I don't know why. Ayer cuando lo miré se miraba más morenito, pero miren. Ya se mira más perito. <ríe> y te tuvieron que volver a escribir eso porque la señora se equivocó y puso uh, the wrong time and the wrong fucking date. Ayer, look at my little baby. He's so cute. Nada, pues ya cuando estamos en el cuarto, este, me dijeron que como me lo vi normal, y todo el pedo, que me lo iban a hacer otra vez, que no había complicaciones ni conmigo cuando lo ven, nos podemos ir en 24 horas. Y pues sí, gracias a Dios, al siguiente día, el 15 de marzo, nos dieron de alta a las 11 de la mañana. Mira tu hermanito. Dile, hi baby brother. Mira, mira. Tico, tico. Tico, tico, tico. Y pues nada, plebes, that was my labor story. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Si estás embarazada, este, primero que nada, felicidades. Segundo, no tengas miedo. Tú puedes, you were made for this. And just keep your trust in God. And you're stronger than you think you are so you got this bitch i believe in you okay you got it but okay thank you guys very much for watching um and i'll see you guys on my next video bye, bye.